the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 112, 1 Kings 1 to 2. Spiritual will, political will. David nullified Adonijah's rebellion, handed his throne over to Solomon, left a religious and political will with him, and then finished his life in this world. First point. A kingdom of priests and the kingdom of God was connected through an oath and a vision. The Bible is pieced together through the framework of a kingdom of priests and the kingdom of God and ultimately through God's vision. Jacob's vision was towards the promised land Canaan and he unraveled his vision by blessing his twelve sons. Joseph's vision was also towards Canaan after Exodus. Moses' vision was to make holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. David's vision passed down to Solomon concerning God's laws. Jesus' vision was the Andes of the earth. Paul's vision was for the second generation of apostles to carry out God's work. As such, God's people left their will, which became the root for Christians to follow today. Second point. David, through the priest Zadok, passed on his monarchy to Solomon. When David grew old, David's fourth son, Adonijah, carried out a coup d'etat just like Absalom did. Adonijah rose up against his father to show that he was more suited to being king than Solomon. He also wanted to show that he was approved by the others and that he was good looking. He also had an army of followers to support his coup d'etat. If Absalom had Ithophel behind his coup, Adonijah had Joab and Abiathar. Adonijah used the same format as his brother Absalom for the coup, using the help of Joab and Abiathar as well as his 50 soldiers. When the prophet Nathan became aware of this, he went to Bathsheba and told her to seek David to ensure that Solomon would sit on the throne. David gathered those who were not involved in Adonijah's coup and ordered them to support Solomon's enthronement. So Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, Benaiah son of Jehoiada, the Kerisites and the Pelasites went down and had Solomon mount King David's mule, and they escorted him to Kihon. Sadok the priest took a horn of oil from the sacred tent and anointed Solomon. Then they sounded the trumpets and all the people shouted, Long live King Solomon! Solomon officially took the place of David as king and this drove away Adonijah's followers. Adonijah, in fear of Solomon, took hold of the horns of the altar. Solomon told Adonijah, that he could live and took a home on the condition that he did not pursue the throne again. Third point, David left his will of faith to Solomon first. David left his son Solomon an oath of a kingdom of priests. The reason why David's 40-year rule out of the 500 years of monarchy was so acknowledged was because David managed to devote himself to a kingdom of priests. Many kings, including Saul, failed to keep to a kingdom of priests, but David really set a model example of how kings were to live according to God's laws. Later on, Jeroboam took a completely different path to David, 
by changing the three annual festivals in a kingdom of priests. He failed to recognize that the kingdom of priests had God's forgiveness, sharing between neighbors, and peace between nations. David truly believed in this and passed this down to Solomon. Fourth point, David also left his political will to Solomon. The political will David left Solomon was twofold. The first was to be cautious of Joab and Shimei. The content regarding Joab can be found in 1 Kings 2 verses 5 to 6. David advised to find an opportunity to kill Joab. The second regarded Shimei and the content can be found in 1 Kings 2 verses 8 to 9. Solomon was warned to also kill Shimei. The second part of David's will was for Solomon to search wide for skilled people all over the country. The content of David's political will cast light on what a great politician he was. Joab and Shimei were not too much a threat to a senior politician such as David, but to Solomon they could be threatening. Thus, David told Solomon the best way to deal with them. Fifth point. For the first three years of his monarchy, Solomon fulfilled all the contents of David's political will. Solomon managed to achieve a lot during the first three years as king. One thing he did was to kill Adonijah and strengthen his internal cabinet. The death of Adonijah was brought about by Adonijah himself because he tried to make Bathsheba help him get Abishag the Shunammite as his wife. Because of this, Adonijah was put to death on that day. Solomon furthermore exiled those who supported Adonijah from the country. As for Abiatha, Solomon did not kill him but disqualified him from position as a priest. Solomon also killed Joab, who was with Adonijah for the coup d'etat. Solomon made Benaiah command of the army, and furthermore also killed Shimei. Solomon managed to achieve all this in three years. He learned a lot from his father, and this surprised all the surrounding countries. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.